Thanksgiving is perhaps my favorite holiday, and not just because of the delicious and excessive food intake. It is a holiday that reminds me of America's Christian heritage. Originally just a one-time occasion where the pilgrims celebrated surviving their first winter in America and the great bounty that followed after with the aid of the Native Americans, Thanksgiving is literally a time that America puts aside to thank God for everything that he's done for this country. As part of a new Thanksgiving tradition for myself, every year I read this, George Washington's Thanksgiving Proclamation. This was the first official presidential proclamation issued in the United States, and apparently it was lost for 130 years after it was written. Although technically Thanksgiving didn't become a national holiday until Abraham Lincoln, I find Washington's proclamation to be a perfect illustration of what Thanksgiving is all about. One of the reasons I really like this proclamation is because it has a very high view of God, depicting him as sovereign over all things and peoples. And being a reformed Calvinist, I really appreciate that. And so, without further ado, here's my new Thanksgiving tradition. Whereas it is the duty of all nations to acknowledge the providence of Almighty God, to obey His will, to be grateful for His benefits, and humbly implore His protection and favor, and whereas both houses of Congress have, by their joint committee, requested me to recommend to the people of the United States a day of public thanksgiving and prayer, to be observed by acknowledging it with grateful hearts the many and single favors of Almighty God, especially by affording them an opportunity peaceably to establish a form of government for their safety and happiness. Now, therefore, I do recommend and assign Thursday, the 26th day of November next, to be devoted by the people of these states to the service of the great and glorious being who is the beneficent author of all the good that was, that is, or that will be, that we may all unite in rendering unto him our sincere and humble thanks for his kind care and protection of the people of this country previous to their becoming a nation for the single and manifold mercies of the favorable interpositions of his providence in the course and conclusion of the late war, for the great degree of tranquility, union, and plenty which we have since enjoyed, for the peaceable and rational manner in which we have been enabled to establish constitutions of government for our safety and happiness, and particularly the national one now lately instituted for the civil and religious liberty with which we are blessed and the means we have of acquiring and diffusing useful knowledge, and, in general, for all the great and various favors which he has been pleased to confer upon us, and also that we may then unite in most humbly offering our prayers and supplications to the great Lord and ruler of nations and beseech him to pardon our national and other transgressions, to enable us, whether in public or in private stations, to perform our several and relative duties properly and punctually, to render our national government a blessing to all the people by constantly being a government of wise, just, and constitutional laws, discreetly and faithfully executed and obeyed to protect and guide all sovereigns and nations, especially such as have shown kindness to us, and to bless them with good governments, peace, and concord, to promote the knowledge and practice of true religion and virtue, and the increase of science among them and us, and generally to grant unto all mankind such a degree of temporal prosperity as he alone knows to be best. Given under my hand at the city of New York, the third day of October, in the year of our Lord, 1789, George Washington. Hmm. What's also perplexing is that I've been told many times that this nation's founding fathers were not Christian. If that is the case, then one must admire the way that they can spin their words, unaware of the heritage whose origin they also deny. If that is the case, of course. But in any case, Happy Thanksgiving, everybody! Don't forget to like or dislike this video, add to your favorites or share it if you really liked it, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. Until then, take care and Godspeed.